All right, so in this video, we're going to follow up with using some of the cool features that are part of a, a class transformer as well as class validator. So let's just say, for example, we have a user and let's say that user might have a password that is sensitive. Oh, obviously, passwords are going to be sensitive, but let's just say, for example, that password, uh, let, let's say that user password is part of that user entity. OK, now let's say we need to send the user back to the to the uh, to the front end or we want to send it back to the requester. Now we obviously want to make sure that we're not sending the actual password because if we do that, that can be very, very problematic. But even if you're just sending the hash, you don't want to do that as well. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up another controller and I'm going to show you guys how we can actually exclude certain properties from being sent back from the NestJS API. So let me go ahead and create another module. So let's do nest G module and I'll call this uh, users. Okay. And we'll create our own controllers for this module as well. So now we have our own users module and you know, like, like I said, users can be different from customers because a user can have a customer profile. Okay. So it's a good way to kind of like separate uh, these concerns. So let's go ahead and create a controller. So we'll put that inside users and we'll, Create a new folder called controllers and that will be generated over there inside the users folder so pretty much we're following the same structure with the customers module okay and we'll also do nest g service users services users okay cool so we have a controller and we have a we have a, uh, a service okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go inside the service class and we'll just create fake users for now so let me go ahead and go inside here and let's just do utils or let me do, yeah, let me actually see how I did it over here. Yeah, let me go ahead and create a folder called uh, types and I'll just call this a uh, user.ts export interface uh, user. And this will just give us a username uh, string password string. Okay, no, so something very, very simple, okay? And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do private users. It's going to be an array of users. So that uh, interface that we just created. And we'll do username and we'll just do Anson password Anson. Okay. And we'll also do a couple more. So let's just do Danny, Danny, uh, Derek, Derek. Uh, let's do Samantha. Samantha, and that's that's going to be it for now. And we'll create a function called get users, and we'll just return this dot users, and we'll create another function called get user by ID, okay, or not get user by ID, get user by username, okay, and we'll just do return this dot users dot find, pass in the predicate, so we'll search by uh, checking to see if the username is going to equal to the username that was passed in. So if the username matches, then this will return true. Well, it'll return the actual user. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and set up the controller now. So let's go over here. So we're going to have a get request. So we have a get users route. So this should now be pretty straightforward now that we've played around with uh, controls and services with the customers module. So we need to inject our users service into this user controller. Now, one thing that I'm going to show you that what we should do is we should actually provide tokens for our services. So what I mean by that is inside this providers, instead of actually doing it this way, we want to actually pass in an object and use the provide property and give this a token. So I'm going to call this user service and we're going to use the use class property and literally just set the value of use class to users service. Okay. So now what we can do is we can actually just use the inject. Okay. And we can pass in the token like this. Okay. And you want to make sure that uh, this token is unique. Okay. Uh, and so what's going to happen is literally we can just say private read only uh, user service. And then we can just type annotate our user service, just like that. Okay, so there we go. So now I can reference this user service accordingly. So return 
this dot user service dot get users okay so let's go ahead and fetch those users right now so let's do slash api slash users gets let's go ahead and get those users and we have our users okay so right now obviously this is bad because it's giving us the password we obviously don't want the password to be displayed to the user okay so how do we actually omit that from how do we omit that from uh from the actual um from the actual uh, response now this is actually a process called serialization and there's a topic on this as well in the documentation and pretty much what we can do is we can actually uh do a lot of things such as uh, sanitizing the data, transforming the data, um, you know, preventing any sensitive details like passwords from being sent back as a response. Okay, so essentially, uh, we want to use the, tra the the class transformer package. There's a decorator called exclude, and we're, we want to basically exclude that. Okay, now you can see right now we actually type annotated our data uh, using an interface. Uh, but what we can do is we can actually create a class. So we can call this something like uh, let me let me go ahead over here. Uh, let me actually do this. Uh, let me actually make this index.ts instead. And let me go ahead and create a class called uh, I'll, I'll call this a serialized user. Okay, and so it's literally just going to be the same as user. But what we're going to do is we're going to exclude the password by using the exclude decorator. Okay. So we use the exclude decorator by just calling that, and that's import from class transformer. Okay. And now what we can do is we can go over to our controller. And what we can do is we can actually, uh, let me let me actually do this real quick. Okay, so we have a problem because right now this get users is still going to return everything uh, with the password. So what we can do is we can actually call map. So we can map all our data and we can call this method called uh, plane to class. So this will literally transform everything from the actual user interface to an actual serialized user. So we can see that this is imported from class transformer. So we want to pass in the class that we want to serialize it to and the actual data. Okay, so now watch this. Uh, so if we actually call the API, it should actually still return everything uh, without the password, which is good. The reason why it's doing that is because we called plane to class. Okay, so that's pretty uh, that's pretty uh, straightforward. Okay, and you can literally do that with uh, any other endpoint. So, for example, let's say if you were to get an individual user, let's say you were to get it by username. So let's go ahead and call this get by username. The param is going to be a username, and this will just be a string. And we'll return this dot user service get user by username. Now what we'll do is we'll actually uh, we'll actually check to see if the user is truthy. If it's truthy, we'll return it. Else, we will throw a new HTTP exception, and we'll just say uh, uh, user not found HTTP status of bad request. So the same thing that we did in the previous uh, in the previous tutorials with the customer module. Okay, so now when we return this user, uh, when we return this user, this is actually going to give us the password. So right now, if I do Anson, this will actually give us the password, and that's because we haven't actually serialized it. Uh, we haven't actually serialized this just yet. So for this endpoint, we can pretty much do the same thing that we did by calling the uh, the class to uh plain to class method we can also do one more thing so let's let's go ahead and uh, go back to this index.ts file and so this serialized user so what we can do is we can actually provide a constructor and this is what the documentation has as well so we can create a partial and this partial is pretty much just the user serialized user and what we can do is we can just call object.assign this partial okay so that'll pretty much just assign uh, whatever partial this is to this class over here that's what this that's what this does okay and essentially what we could do is we can actually return a new uh serialized user 
and we can pass in that partial right over here. Okay. So right now we're not actually transforming like, you know, class to or plane to class. We're just returning a new serialized user. And you can also do the same thing with this get users endpoint as well. But we'll focus on this right now. So let's go ahead and call this endpoint. So let's go ahead and do Anson. So you can see it still gives us the password, which is not good. And the reason why is because we need to uh, invoke the use interceptors decorator. And we need to pass in class serializer interceptor. So uh, this class serializer interceptor, as well as use interceptors, these two come from the nest.js common package, okay? I should have also mentioned that as well. So if I use that, I should actually be able to, get, there we go. We should be able to get our data back without the password. Okay, so there's multiple ways that you can do this. You can use the interceptor along with uh, returning a new instance of serialized user, or you can actually just call the uh, plain to class method. Um, but I would suggest going about it with the way that Nest.js recommends it. Okay, um, so you can see over here that it says, note that we must return instance of class. Uh, if you return a plain JavaScript object, for example, uh, the object won't be properly serialized. So yeah, it's best that we follow the actual documentation. So if we were to, uh, let's see. So it seems like essentially, if we were to use plain to class, we could do that, or we can just do the same thing by just calling, uh, we can, instead of doing plain to class, we can just do new serialized user and pass a user just like that. Okay, and um, so let's test this endpoint out. So if I just call slash users, this will give me the password. That's because we don't have the interceptor. If I add the interceptor, I should be able to get everything without the password. So there you go. That's how you do it uh, the Nest.js way. This is how you can pretty much serialize uh, data. So you can pretty much exclude certain things from uh, being uh, sent back as a response. Because obviously you do not want sensitive details like a password. Uh, or like, you know, maybe like an SSN, for example, to be sent back to the client. It's always best practice to exclude those, okay? And it's obviously a security vulnerability. Even if you're sending a hash to, you shouldn't send it in general, okay? Um, anyways, so that's going to be pretty much it for this tutorial. Just wanted to show you guys how we can uh, serialize and use Class Transformer. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.